Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. This may or may not resonate with every Aries watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay, so definitely looks like to me that there has been someone who's been wanting to be very single on their own, okay? And now this person is wanting to be in a relationship with you, they're ready to be in a Quebec way, they're ready to be with you, okay? Someone who is uh, fed up and tired of being single, okay? This person could be someone who always wanted to be the center of attraction, but definitely someone coming towards you who wants to be with you. King of Swords in reverse, okay? Could be dealing with someone who's been very cold, icy, detached towards you, okay? But at the same time, I feel that this person was probably even someone very manipulative, okay? Could be someone who was cheating, lying, but this is someone very, very manipulative, all right? But yeah, you could have cut someone out like this, okay? This is the kind of person who's wanting to come towards you now, okay? I feel you cut this person out or they cut you out. Again, um, I'm going to try and say whenever I can, but take the energies how it resonates, okay? It can be vice versa. So yeah, they're inter interchangeable, all right? Okay, tell me more. Seven of Swords reverse, yeah? This is definitely someone who's been lying, cheating, okay? And now they're feeling very, very guilty and they're wanting to come back towards you, okay? I'm getting someone who could be very uh, um, deceptive, okay? But someone, you know, who's not being very honest about their feelings, their intentions towards you, okay? I don't know if this is someone sneaky. Could be, doesn't have to be. But it looks like someone who was holding back their feelings, who was holding back their intentions about what they really wanted with you, okay? And they try to escape this connection. But Seven of Swords in reverse to me is someone who has a tendency of running away and coming back to you over and over again okay but yeah this person has definitely been someone who's not been the best at communication but definitely been, kept you at a distance okay and could be probably because they were in no mood of committing or they just wanted to be on their own or they were very focused on their money knight of swords in reverse here this is definitely someone who's wanting to communicate with you, okay, but they're holding back. They're trying their best to hold back communication, okay? They know that they need to talk to you today. Like, they, they could have wanted to speak to you yesterday, but they're very determined on holding back communication. I think this person definitely knows that they need to do their best, okay, before they come in towards you. But Nine of Swords in reverse is someone... The problem here is it can become a missed opportunity because, like, like I said, right, the situation needs to be addressed immediately, but they're holding back, okay? They're not being able to express. They're not coming up with the truth, okay? They're holding back the truth. Eight of Cups in reverse here. This is someone who's not being able to walk away from you, okay? This person could have tried to walk away from you after things ended between you guys. I haven't seen an ending here, but it looks like you guys are in a separation or there have been things that have been ended. Things have ended between you guys, okay? But what I do see is someone who's wanting to return back to you, okay? Definitely someone who uh, lied, cheated, etc., okay? But also with the Eight of Cups in reverse here again, like I said, right? This could also be you at the same time, you know, where this person's coming back to you, they're feeling guilty. You could have tried to walk away from this person, but you are also holding on to them, okay? You can't get let go of them. Tell me more. Who's coming towards Aries in love? Arifin, this person wants to commit to you, okay? We'll see. But definitely if someone who's wanting, who's feeling very guilty, like I said, that's what I said, right? Someone who is feeling very, very guilty about what they did. Uh, they feel bad about playing tricks on you. You know, this is literally like the player who played themselves, okay? They probably thought that the grass was green on the other side or they thought they could have just got away with this relationship, but they cannot, okay? They cannot move on from you. And this person's coming back to give you something uh, more stable. But more than anything, this person is uh, probably wanting high levels of commitment with you, okay? Tell me more. Death, yeah. You ended things with this person here. But along with this, with the death card here, not only do I see that you've ended things with this person, this person could be coming back to you with a huge change, a huge transformation, okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Taurus is what I'm getting, okay? I don't like to say signs because, I mean, it's all about the energies, right? But people like to hear it. So yeah, with the death card here, there's definitely been an ending between you guys. But this person's completely changed, completely transformed, okay? And they're coming in towards you with that energy. They've let go anything that was negative, anything that was holding them back from coming towards you, okay? This is uh, putting an ending to a very, uh, you put an ending to a very inevitable phase of your life, okay? A huge phase of your life has ended with this person. But yeah, this person's coming in. Um with a huge change, a huge transformation. Tell me more, please. Yep, Knight of Wands here. That's what they're doing. This person is rushing in towards you, okay? 
this person is in a hurry. This could definitely be someone that you're dealing with, right? Who is very in and out, in and out of your life here. See, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting you as the king of swords here. I'm getting the knight of swords and a knight of wands here, okay? So it's literally to me with the knight of swords and reverse and the knight of wands here. It's like they're very contradictory energies, right? One is where one moment they're like wanting to charge in and speak to you and the other, the next moment they're trying to hold back as much as they can, okay? So they've got like one foot on the gas, one foot on the accelerator, one foot on the brakes, okay? They just don't know. They're not being able to make up their mind. But all they know is that they're feeling guilty and they want to come back towards you, okay? They want to come back to make things right. I feel about the Hierophant here, this person's waking up to this connection. They feel this is a very spiritual connection here, okay? Queen of Swords in reverse, wow, wow. We have the King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. You know what, dude? You both are very, very bitter towards each other is what I'm getting, okay? So I think they're pissed off. Or you were dealing with someone like this, okay? Who was very pissed off because you cut them out. And with the other hand, with the Queen of Swords in reverse here, I think you're also com cutting communication, okay? But both of y'all are not wanting to speak to each other right now because there has been some... Um, Again, Seven of Swords, right? That we see here. This is the card of deception, right? Something definitely was not right, okay? Either they played you dirty or there was just someone who was very in and out of your life, all right? Going around in circles but not really giving you what you wanted. All right, let's see. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here? Yep, baby. Ace of Pentacles, this person's coming in to offer you something stable, something committed, okay? They want a brand new beginning with you. And uh, they're very serious about you this time around. Tell me about the King of Swords in reverse. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Yeah, King of Cups. You had a lot of love for this person, okay? Or this person had a lot of love for you, okay? But for some reason, this person was someone who tried to manipulate the situation, okay? They would just try to escape the topic or escape the situation as much as they could. But again, with the King of Cups here, this is someone who you loved a lot or someone who loved you a lot. But they just lack that investment, okay? Someone who is very immature. When, I mean, the King of Cups is someone who feels really deep, but they refuse to show their emotions, right? So that's the kind of person who you were dealing with, okay? And you cut them off. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're feeling guilty that they're not taking, that they didn't take action. They're feeling guilty they didn't take action, okay? And because they didn't take action with the Six of Cups in reverse, yeah, this has left a bad taste in your mouth, okay? You're holding a grudge against them. Because they could have, uh, you know, literally done something to literally hurt you, you know, but I'm seeing someone, you know, who did something on a very conscious level, okay? And now they want to take action towards you. The King of Cups also, vice versa, looks to me like this was someone who you really, really loved, okay? You probably were even open, waiting for them to open up emotionally. But they didn't. They always kept you at a distance. But this person is coming back, okay? The player, the cheater, the liar, or the one who was deceptive. I don't like to say liar, cheater. But Seven of Swords is the card of someone who's lied. Someone who's kept their intentions very, very uh, under wraps, okay? So, yeah. But they're coming in to take action towards you because they're very, very, very passionate about you, okay? The King of Wands is a very masculine energy. So, someone who just gets up and gets what they want, okay? So, yeah. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, with the Magician here. This person's holding back communication, okay? But they're clearly manifesting you, okay? This person's manifesting a brand new beginning with you, a brand new opportunity with you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse. What is this Eight of Cups in reverse? Yeah. They're done playing the mind games. They are done playing the mind games. This person wants a reconciliation with you. They cannot walk away from you. Or probably once you walked away, they realize because the Five of Swords is in reverse. So they see you. You know, you're dealing with someone who's very, very sabotaging, okay? This is someone who keeps sabotaging the connection. Like literally, they sabotage what they literally want with you, all right? So yeah, they're done with the games, they're done. This person could have had a lot of trust issues, you know, they had their guards up, you know. They were, uh, you know, uh, not being honest and real with themselves, okay. Seven of Swords here. Now, you know, they're no longer wanting to push things away, okay, due to fear, okay. You ended things with this person, you walked away, you were done with their mind games, the mind fuckery, okay. But now this person is done with the games, okay. They're done with their trust issues, they're dropping their guard, okay. They're done playing themselves, okay. 
and now they want to be very honest and real about their feelings all right and they realize that once you walked away they cannot walk away from you they want to come back to you okay they're emotionally very very invested into this connection that's what this person has realized now that they're coming back they're wanting to turn a new leaf okay they want to make a very uh they want a very straightforward approach towards you no more games what's the harpent strength in reverse looks like okay now th to me this looks like you know um give me one more card what is the harpent and the strength in reverse here i feel that you're dealing with someone yeah see that's what i was getting i feel you're dealing with someone who you wanted commitment with okay or this was someone who was commitment phobic or they always ran away from the topic of commitment okay now this person they were trying to hold back from you as much as they could they were trying to resist their passion their emotions their feelings for you but they no longer can do it okay with the strength and reverse here they're giving out they're giving into a situation they're surrendering okay with the knight of pentacles here this person's wanted to come in towards you okay they've made up their mind with the two of pentacles in reverse here they know what they want and they're coming towards you with something stable something committed and something secure but the problem here is that with the knight of pentacles here this is someone who's very very slow moving okay so if you're expecting this person to come in like tomorrow it's not gonna happen not this week for sure all right but it's a very very slow moving energy uh someone you know who you feel you're just getting dragged into the connection okay someone who's dragging the connection all right and it's getting nowhere yes that is what this that is what kind of feeling you can get but the knight of pentacles is someone definitely who's focused on everything but the relationship all right they are this is someone moving very very slow you know etc like i said they're used to being in control okay they like to take their own time they don't give up all right they don't give up but they're very slow because they're very focused on their career their finances etc okay they don't like to rush into anything yeah but finally they're waking up to the connection okay they know what they want with you but it's going to be very slow okay so don't expect quick movement here what's the death card here what's the death here why the death card here the world in reverse yeah you could have ended things with this person because you know what i feel that you were going in circles with them some things you know even if you ended things right this is someone here who's not ready to accept the ending is what i'm getting okay because they feel something's unfinished here okay so this person's coming okay i'm getting i think this person is coming in towards you okay with that energy of i've changed completely i've transformed like a 180 degrees okay and whatever's unfinished right they feel the things are not over between you guys okay or this is you who've ended things with this person okay although it feels unfinished but you're like you know what okay never mind you you're creating your own closure and with the nine of pentacles here i feel you are throwing yourself into work or you're just taking care of yourself you're single you're being financially independent you're more focused on your independence you know you're rather focused on independence rather than trying to make a relationship work yeah but i'm getting you're being very self sufficient right now okay you're not making this connection a priority you're just going to leave it unfinished okay so take that how it resonates once you do this with the knight of wands here this is someone coming in the justice yeah this person wants to make things fair now now this person wants to bring balance to the relationship okay if this was uh somewhere where there was a lack of equal give and take if it was a one sided situation they're coming in to bring balance okay i'm getting this is more like a karmic justice okay this person got what they deserve okay somewhere somehow they're paying for whatever they did to you okay could be through any karmic partner could be through anything okay they've got you're getting karmic justice okay they're coming in to balance things out they're coming things make to make things fair and uh the justice with the justice and the hierophant here this all talks about commitment okay justice can also be marriage something legal all right tell me about the queen of swords in reverse here but i don't think you're in the best of mood to entertain this person why is the queen of swords in reverse i feel it's because this person makes you wait but let's see why is the queen of swords in reverse here page of pentacles in reverse yeah see you're dealing with someone who's very immature okay this person holds back a lot a lot of procrastination okay of whether you want to invest or whether they want to invest or not but let me take one more card why the queen of swords in reverse with the page of pentacles in reverse yeah see you choose to be single that's what i'm getting yeah i think this person by the time this person comes back right you're choosing to cut them off okay because you're being very resentful towards them you're very angry you're pissed off and uh you're both not ready to communicate once this person has a lot of love for you okay but they refuse to show it 
you on the other hand here you're just choosing to be single you're okay on your own you're more like screw you okay i don't think you're wanting to invest into this person or restart this the, you just don't want to restart this is what i'm getting okay because the page of pentacles in reverse is definitely someone you know who's holding back from investing into a connection and that's what you're doing because you're very bitter towards this person you know it could also be that you're pissed off with this person because you're obsessing about communicating with them okay you really really want to but you're not doing anything about it again this could be them also okay and you're not ready to invest yet Okay, you're putting the idea on hold on investing in them because with the Nine of Pentacles, like I said, it was there on the behind at the back of the deck. You're okay on your own. You're self-sufficient. You realize your worth. You realize your value. Whilst this person is coming in to take action, they're feeling very guilty about what they did. They love you. They want you, okay? But they're holding back communication on purpose. They are. They have a lot of regret out here, okay? But they're manifesting you, okay? Even if they're holding back communication, could be you who's holding back communication, even though you really want to talk to them, okay? But someone's manifesting. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. Yeah. Someone's manifesting, uh, uh, you know what? So I feel that you're manifesting a brand new opportunity with this person. Could be you, could be them. But I feel at the same time with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you're, you're very focused on your career, your goals, your money, your business, your finances. You're not making this relationship a priority at all. Why? Because we have the fool in reverse here at the bottom of the deck, okay? You think this person is a risk or something is risky out here, okay? You don't trust this person. So yeah, you're manifesting this person at the same time you're like not even giving a shit to them, which is the right way to manifest, okay? You don't give a shit, that's when it works out. Yeah, see, that's why this person's coming in, right? They are, but they're just gonna be very slow moving, all right? They realize that they have a lot of passion for you, you know, okay, and they have a lot of love for you, all right? But I just feel you're both very bitter towards each other. You're both not communicating. That is one of the biggest issues here. But this person will come in. They will come in, They'll, they will speak to you i think they will speak to you but you're holding your ground strong i don't think you're going to give them it's not going to be easy for them to get through you that's why they're they're taking baby steps towards you okay they're no longer holding back they're giving up this fight okay because i'm feeling both of you are holding back okay this person holding back more although they know how much passion and love they have for you right they were holding back even more but they're not anymore but the knight of pentacles here they're tired of staying away from you and they're coming in with that offer all right so that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.